Good morning. Uh, let's go check on the cows. It's time for chores and uh, it's cold out, so best get a jacket on and uh, we'll see you out there. I'm almost ready. Okay, let's go. It's a snowy morning. We did put up Christmas lights. Make things nice and cheery. And here we are in the barn. Good morning, girls. Good morning, seven month old calves. So, when you come out here in the morning, one of the first things I do actually is I have to throw some food at the little chicks and pullets. And then I work on cleaning up the bedding area. And Stacy goes into the milk parlor and gets things ready for milking. Uh, Stacy finished milking, so the cows are over here eating their hay. I cleaned up the pack a little bit. I haven't put down shavings yet. And we have the mamas eating their hay. Time to go clean up the dairy. Here we are in the milking parlor, and I'll show you what our normal situation is here in the morning. After milking, this is pretty much what it looks like. Not too much of a mess. And they're trained not to pee or poop in the parlor mostly. And then I'm gonna work in here and in the milk house. Stacy's gonna finish up loading the manure spreader. This is our Jetter washer system that cleans our milking cloth and the bucket. We put the cleaner in here and it goes up and circulates. Okay, wow, we're fogging up. Let me see if I can clean that up. All right, milk house is done. Let's go work in the parlor. In the winter time, we try to use the least amount of water. So we reuse our rinse bucket water. Then we just use a squeegee and squeegee the water. It will drain, but this way it just gets rid of the water quicker, especially in colder temperatures. A lot of people have asked about the pump hut. We mentioned it in a previous video and this is it. It is sure nice not having the vacuum pump in the parlor. Uh, it's actually built for our future pump for when we have a pipeline, but we do have our little surge vacuum pump in there and it is doing well. We use kiln dried planer shavings for bedding. It works good. We're in an area where it's uh, available and uh, we like it. Cows like it and we're going to go get more today. We have our trailer all hooked up and we're ready to get on the road. It's about 20 minutes north to the Vagen Sawmill. That is where we pick up our wood shavings. And away we go. But we got about, what was that, four or five inches the other day, yesterday. Oh, close to four, I think. Plowed twice. Here we are going through the little town of Blue Creek. Blue Creek store, got a new sign, pretty fancy. Our 
farm is on Blue Creek Road, about six tenths of a mile from Highway 395, which is the main highway running north from Spokane up to the Canadian border. Here we are coming out on 395, bare and wet. If you look over there, you can barely see our farm. About 15 miles to Colville, which is also the county seat of Stevens County. We're about halfway to Colville. The snow's really pretty on the trees. We're coming into Colville now. And on the left there is North 40, which is our local farm store. It used to be Big R. Now it's North 40. It's similar to what other people have as Fleet Farm, what other ones? Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply. Here we are at Wagen. It's a very big lumber mill here. Oh look, here comes a big log truck. Oh, those are kind of small logs. So, the log trucks go in and lots of different types of timber products come out. And this is where we get our shavings. We can also get some uh, shavings from other local sawmills, but they're not kiln drying. And for our bedded pack, we like to use kiln dried because they're already drier. Driving on to the scales and the scale shack. This is just where we check in first. After we've been cleared by the scale shack, we have to head over. can fit through there. Sure, let's go for it. Yeah, I can fit through there. Plenty of room. You drive a tank through here. Here are the big pallets of all of the uh, shavings. We park and they come bring us a pallet and then we load it on the trailer. Here we are out in the yard. As you can see, there's lots of already packaged timber out there and we are all in our safety gear because we have to have safety gear on to be here in the yard. There's Stacy and we're just waiting for them to bring us our load of uh, shavings. a huge tall pallet so we always take the top part and restack it and then we uh, tie the whole thing down before we go the trick is cutting the wrap without cutting into the bag <laughs> this is true We have finished uh, most of our strapping down, so we're just gonna tie up the loose ends and then hit the road back to the farm. Back in the truck, and we are ready to go. Oh, 
Boggan has this big crane in their yard that they use to pick up logs. Backed in as far as we could back in. Hello, door. Cows are always excited about what we're doing. What are we doing, Daisy? We'll just show you the end result. So, we have some fresh clean bedding for the cows for at least another little while. We'll, uh, they're supervising. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll throw a few bags down here soon because we kind of ran out this morning. So, give them a nice uh, bed of uh, clean sheets, I call it tonight. So thanks for coming along with us on this exciting journey to the sawmill to get our uh, wood shavings. And we like having you along with us. We hope you're having a great winter. And we'll see you next time on the Tom Rosa. Take care. <laughs>